Hello everyone, we are group 20. Uh, our topic is uh, architecture of IoT system. This is uh, the presentation of architecture analysis for current and future IoT systems. Uh, here's the introduction. First, uh, IoT architecture is the system of different elements, such as uh, sensors, actuators, and other stuff. And there are many layers in the IoT architecture. Also, a uh, different model uh, uh, of the architecture has many elements, such as organizations, components, and the functionality mapping, and the data and control flows. Also, different scenarios re uh, require different architectures model. The physical elements and the networks, including devices, infrastructure, storage, user devices, uh, frog, also cloud, and some uh, extra stuff. It is really complicated and challengeable to implement a reliable architecture based on given device and conditions. The major problems IoT system faces today are the growing number of lot devising, uh, devices being connected to the network. One of the problem with the scalability of the architecture is handling the growth of IoT devices and the information with low latency. Privacy and security are also major concerns, especially for any vulnerabilities in the IoT devices, data transmission, and centralized data storage. We have studied two researchers for each aspect. One of the research for scalability is uh, called a scalable and manageable IoT architecture based on transparent computing. Transparent computing is split software stacks from hardware platform, also separating computing units from storage. It provides cross-platform services and apps for different devices. Different operation systems, applications, and the data are all resources in transparent computing. The local lightweight terminal can compute without any operation systems. There are five different layers in transparent computing architecture. The end user layer consists of various IoT devices such as PCs, phones, sensors. These IoT devices can be viewed as clients in the architecture and install resident software like Meta Operation System to support cross platform and dynamic service execution. In edge network layer, edge devices such as high performance router, small scalable uh, server, collect and process the end user data from the end user layer. Then send process the data to service and storage layer via the core network layer. The core network layer is mainly made up of a variety of networks communication methods. It is a bridge between edge network layer and the service and the storage layer. Service and storage layer consists of a data server, software server, and control server. The data server stores data from edge network layer and provides the data for processing. The software server stores operation systems file and applications that are available to the edge device. The control server controls and manages the data server and the software server. Management layer mainly manages servers from service and storage layer and assign tasks to the control server, like adding or updating software. Comparing to traditional IoT architecture, transparent computing-based IoT architecture puts forward edge network layer and uh, service storage layer based on transparent computing to adapt to IoT devices and services and to enable the large scale of application deployment. 
Another research of scalability is called a highly scalable IoT architecture through network function virtualization. The network function virtualization virtualized and centralized functionalities and the components in the network. The function run in a data center on commercial off-the-shelf hardware instead of the distributed hardware. The components at the user side are very simple and the the complex application logic is on the data center side. Software-defined network is also can be applied. It, is, uh, it, dynami it dynamically moves functions and relocate resources without interrupting any services. The NFV architecture is shown in this picture. The IoT gateway runs on a simple hardware and does not execute any application logic. The function of the IoT gateway is the translation between different protocols towards simple IoT devices. All the application logic is located in a data center and runs on standard hardware shared, shared among all the applications for different network functions. A data center contains the following layers. Hardware layer is composed of uh, codes hardware components, including storage network interfaces, and CPUs. It provides a scalable and elastic hardware platform shared among all IoT applications and other network functions. Virtualization layer is an abstract layer. By using the physical hardware resources, it provides virtual machines towards the IoT applications. Management and the architecture layer is responsible not only for the lifecycle management of the IoT applications, but also for the coordination of the resource and the different IoT applications. Now we are going to talk about evaluation of proposed solution for scalability. The transparent computing architecture using edge network layer to reduce the load of a server and storage layer and core network layer to improve scalability. The boot time for operation system is 50% faster than the local one. For execution is 20% faster and for file copy is 25% faster. Read and write speed is about 30% faster with 1000 megabytes network. For NFV and SDN architecture, the IoT gateway runs on simple hardware and does not execute any application logic. In such a way, the gateway is highly scalable to support the rising numbers of IoT devices. The network latency may be an issue for real-time IoT applications, since the application logic is separated from the gateway. Application execution is faster since it is running on high-performance hardware in the data center. On the other hand, one of the solutions for uh, IoT data privacy and security is uh, an hybrid IoT cloud architecture approach. Here, we divide the cloud into two parts the public cloud and the private cloud. The public cloud is used for data storage and big data analysis, whereas the private cloud will be used for more sensitive information about the users. This is possible using a three-layered approach where the edge layer is further divided into two layers, the agent server and the virtualization layer. The virtualization layer is responsible for securely abstracting each IoT device in the IoT layer and then uh, providing them virtual objects which can then be used by the agent uh, service to provide real-time data processing and to route the data where it's required either the public cloud or the uh, private cloud uh, the cloud layer runs a, v a virtual machine manager which uh, is a well-defined api that supports uh, easy data migration from one data center to a different data center and is relatively simpler and easier than uh, the previous approaches. Another approach presented here focuses on testing a decentralized blockchain AI network on different layers of the system. 
The four layers tested here are the device layer, the edge layer, the fog layer, and the cloud layer. A decentralized network promises better security and privacy for IoT devices since no one single location stores all the data. An AI is used in this uh, network with different advantages. The device layer uses an AI for smart data gathering and to only gather relevant data and to organize it in a way that can be processed later by a neural network. The edge layer uses AI for data mining and feature extraction. Here, real-time operations are performed, performed on the sensors and actuators based on this data. The fog layer uses the AI to gather the data and make machine learning models, which are used uh, by the cloud layer later on to perform large big data analysis. First, we are going to evaluate the hybrid cloud architecture. This architecture provides a well-defined API to securely connect to IoT devices and to manage data in cloud storages efficiently. The middle edge layer performs the less computational extensive real-time tasks on the sensors and the actuators and is responsible for data routing using virtual objects to keep the data secure. The private cloud, which is only accessible by the user, is used to store sensitive personal information, whereas the public cloud, like Amazon Web Services, is used for large storage and big data analysis. No quantitative results were provided for this research. The paper evaluates the blockchain AI network on, a di on different layers in an IoT system. The evaluation is based on accuracy of an object detection application, the similarity index for security, latency, and computational utilization. The results can be seen in the table provided. It can be observed that the higher layer, the higher the layer used for decentralization, the higher the accuracy and the lower the latency. However, this is less secure as the decentralization is not as effective as it is on a device layer level. Compared to a normal centralized network, the accuracy and the security of the application is overall better, but the latency is worse. It can be concluded that using a smarter architecture for the IoT system, the scalability of the network can be improved as well as the privacy and the security for the users. However, latency is still an issue with real-time applications.